Hello and welcome to Andre's YouTube vlog for November 4th, 2011. Well, there's been quite a bit of running around in the past few days for me until I finally um, decided on purchasing yet another HD camera. I'm no more familiar with this one than I was with the last one I purchased, the Vivitar, which by the way was a complete dud. Don't buy it, it's garbage, especially if you're a professional. Very bad quality. But I learned something important from the experience. By the way, since I'm recording on the new camcorder today, I can only show you the box that it came in. It is a um, Samsung W200, I believe. Here's the box. This is what the unit looks like on the front. This is what it looks like on the back. Actually, when I'm when I look at the camera now, that's what I'm seeing on the front, that little device. It also comes with a memory card, which is inside the camera. This is the adapter. It's a micro SD card. I'm sure many of you are familiar with it. It also comes with a software, which is basically just an instruction manual. But it wasn't a box opening video that I wanted to do, to do today. I've been uh, talking to a friend out in Oakland about the Occupy Wall Street movement. And I know that a lot of people are reacting as if they never saw it coming. In the city of Oakland, where he lives, uh, a few days ago from now, Occupy Wall Street actually managed to shut down... the nature... the... the, the nation's fifth largest port in Oakland and they had 10,000 marchers who were able to do this. Now, I usually steer away from politics or social issues in my, you know, videos unless they, I feel they're absolutely appropriate, but this one I definitely do. And it's very germane to the situation that I faced with this camera. Everywhere I went looking for an HD camcorder, the results were always the same. I always ended up running into a situation where I was told by a person or by a review on CNET.com flat out that the more money you paid for a camcorder, the better quality you were going to get. And, you know, honestly, being a guy on a fixed income like myself, I had a thought that, my goodness, I live and participate in a world that penalizes people with low incomes. It's just a fact. There's a lot of people who might want to debate it, but it doesn't remain any less of a fact, and it doesn't remain any less of a truth. I don't like it. I wish it was different. And while I definitely understand where Occupy are coming from, I can't say that I particularly approve of violence. It's just going to create a police problem and become part of history. But if they were to organize themselves a little differently, I think there might be something to this Occupy movement. You know, I think that most of the world doesn't function on a very productive economic system, and frankly, I no longer think this one does either. But it exists, it's here, and, you know, how can we make it better without killing each other, or hurting each other, or, or hitting each other, or whatever? How can we solve the economic problems that do exist? The high gas prices, the inflated retail prices that continue to stay up without insulting presidential leaders, mostly due to racial situations, insulting our local leaders, insulting each other, or just going with the flow, which is what most people do. There's got to be a message in the middle of the bottom of all that. And Going through a search for a efficient and workable HD camera was a lot more of a job than I thought it would be, you know? Frankly, I've always been one to believe that a job should be more of a source of pleasure than a, and fulfillment than merely to support yourself. That's why a lot of people that I know are stuck in what seem to be very menial assignments in life. It's something I've been thinking about lately. You know, for, as an outsider looking in, 
I think that it's important that, you know, all of us as people, instead of thinking about ways to get more money, think more about the way we perceive money. And I know most people probably won't, at least not in my lifetime. But this Occupy Wall Street situation might be the beginning of that thought process that I've been hoping most of my life as I've seen things happen around me involving money and people suffering and destitute would happen. Now, this is Andre's first official debut HD video signing out.